guys, it's Jill down at Redwater Dodge for the $10 oil change and rig ready wraps. I'm here to show you this 2019 Ram 3500 Dually, so let's take a peek. Well, obviously this truck is going to have the 6.7 Cummins in it, uh, perfect for hauling anything you need. This is a Laramie, so you're going to have the LED headlights, fog lights, new front end, um, chrome badging, tow mirrors with the 360 camera as well, keyless entry, crew cab long box, go all the way back here. You're going to have both backup cameras, the one right here and the one, uh, your cargo camera. So if you're hooking up any like goose snacks, you're going to have no problem with that. Um, all chrome badging throughout again, park sensors all around, LED tail lights. Um, fully loaded, you're not going to miss anything in this truck. Avery's going to show you guys the inside and then I'll let you know how to make it yours. All right, guys, Avery down here, beautiful red water Dodge. Thank you, Jill, for doing the exterior. Now, this is the brand new redesigned interior. First thing you guys are going to notice is these new Laramie style bucket seats, uh, kind of this sport mesh on the exterior of the seat, kind of similar to a Challenger, an SRT, kind of Grand Cherokee. I mean, now the uh, Laramie logo is actually stitched in the seat rather than heat pressed. And this is a three cushion rear, three cushion bottom type seat. What does that mean? Um, it e easily absorbs your body and also just makes it a very comfortable ride. Uh, you're probably going to be using this truck for work, so you're going to be in it a lot uh, every single day. So you want this to be a very comfortable place where um, yeah, you're not going to be worrying about is your seat comfortable enough. Not to mention these are also heated and cooled seats, all controlled in our cluster, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, again, right to your center console here, completely redesigned. This is a leather wrap center console, Ram logo heat press in there. You can lift this up and you have this nice charging deck system, USB, and then two little kind of change compartments there on the side. Um, and then this is your bottom center console here. It's a huge center console. Um, you even have this nice metrics and uh, I guess math kind of board, if you want to call it that, I don't know. Um, as well as this three-way center console here. So you can adjust this wherever you need it and wherever you want it. Um, something that I realized yesterday, which is nice, is you can actually easily fit like a Tim Hortons tray in there. So if you, you know, doing a big coffee run for the boys or for the girls, I threw a coffee tray in there yesterday, not a problem at all. Um, and then you also have this nice can change compartment here, two cup holders, and again, you guys can uh, adjust this wherever you want it, wherever you need it. Very nice feature, I'm really happy with the center console. It's the best in class center console as well. Uh, 115 volt directly down below there. This beautiful phone holder, as well as a CD player, two USBs, two USCs, and an aux cord. Um, and then these jet uh, jet fighter style button scheme here. You have front and rear park sensors, tow haul. Then of course your J brake. This one, of course, it's a dually. It's got the tow package on it, so you also have your trailer brake just uh, located there. Directly above that is all your climate control. This one also has dual climate control, so uh, the passenger could have super hot heat uh, blowing while I have the coolest uh, blowing as well. Um, nice feature, a lot of couples, especially me and my girlfriend, we argue about the heat in the vehicle, so dual climate control gets rid of that argument. Uh, heated and cooled seats, as we mentioned before, as well as a heated steering wheel for the driver. Your four ways and trash control dislocated there. And then directly above that to your 8.4 inch Uconnect system here with built-in um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You also have Sirius XM radio, one year absolutely free. In your Uconnect app system here, um, you'll have your surround camera feature. So that's a 360 backup camera. It uh, uses a mirror and camera scheme. So right now the door is obviously open, so Chuck can film me. But um, as you can see around the, the rest of the exterior of the vehicle here, completely 360 backup camera. It's pretty cool. You can even see your fifth wheel uh, kind of prep in there as well. Um, you can also access different cameras. I can access the back strictly, the front, um, or even just again the 360. This one also has the cargo camera. Um, you can even adjust the center line too, which is pretty nice. Um, and then again, back to the 360, I can even see the doors. Let's say I see, you know, something over there. I can even zoom in on it. Uh, like, hey, is that my kid over there? I don't want to run him over. So let's zoom in and see. And then right hand side again, you can see Chuck kind of swinging on the door a bit, but, and then that beautiful Redwater Dodge logo up there. Wow. So again, there's tons of customization and just a lot of interfaces, a lot of technology in there, which I quite enjoy. Digital compass in this one. You can also control your auto dimming mirror as well as your heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, all control in there as well. So that's kind of your 8.4 inch Uconnect system and uh, a bit of a reader's digest version. And then all throughout the vehicle here, you got this new Laramie slate black kind of uh, style, uh, 112 volt up there, Alpine stereo system in this one. You can see that nicely badge on that speaker up there as well. Um, and then all your heavy duty uh, four high, four low, and two wheel drive access here. Push and hold on the button and it'll switch into whatever gear uh, setting you want. Four by four high is something a lot of people quite enjoy. Uh, this one also has the push to start feature. Uh, I know some people were nervous, you know, in 2019, are they gonna make it a dial shift in the heavy duty? You know, it's still the classic. Um, 
pull down, I guess, if you want to call it that. And then again, this is a leather wrapped uh, a heated steering wheel, uh, cruise control, Bluetooth, and then you're going to be pulling, uh, you know, trailers up and down hills or just in general, if you want to control your gear shifting, all easily accessible there. Never have to take your hands off the wheel. Um, I can also control the radio from the back of this. Basically, Ram never wants you to have to take your hands off the wheel. I can even control what radio station I'm on, et cetera, et cetera. Brand new redesigned center console, tons of customization in here. You'll have, or not center console, digital speedometer, sorry. Uh, you'll have all types of customization in here. You can organize where you want certain things displayed, how you want them displayed. Um, tons and tons of customization. We could spend a whole video just talking about that. Uh, this one also has the power seats as well as memory seats, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, uh, which is nice for a tow mirror as well. Pretty cool feature. Um, and then again, just this beautiful mesh all throughout the vehicle with that slate black. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the front seat and the just universal garage door opener, Bluetooth mics all throughout the vehicle, power rear window. Um, you can control your lift, like uh, let's say I'll throw on the backup camera so you know what I'm talking about here. So I can even open my box at any time, as you can see. I think Jill might've put a mascara in there, it's stuck. Oh, there we go, look at that. Oh, that's cool. And you can all, you can even zoom in on the hitch as well if you wanted to, to make sure you're backing up uh, appropriately to where you need to be. So that's kind of the front, guys. Let's swing around in the back and show you the rest. All right, guys, in the back seat of the vehicle here, it is a crew cab after all, so there's tons of room back here. Um, and again, same style all throughout the vehicle here. It's this leather wrapped uh, bucket style seat with the sport mesh on the exterior here. I uh, even have a nice center console in the middle here, leather wrapped again. The quality stays the same all throughout these Ram vehicles here. Two cup holders there. You can also flip these up. I know I have this nice flat deck system that we're all pretty much used to now. Um, you can put a grocery bag on there or a dog kennel, whatever the case may be, just so your stuff's not r rattling around. And then just directly below that is my Alpine stereo system sub. And then directly below my seat is a nice storage bin. Um, and then just directly under the mats here, guys, again, this is a crew cab back seat. You'll have in-floor storage in this bucket style storage bin. Uh, you can pop that out. You can put, um, a, you can use this as a cooler too, which is pretty nice. Or even just a convenient place to put stuff that, uh, it's a little bit dirty and you don't want really rolling around your truck. Uh, a lot of people put their hitches in there and their uh, booster cables. That way if they do get dirty, they can easily clean that bin and they don't have to worry about uh, the beautiful interior of their Laramie getting dirty. Um, and this is your kind of rear center console. It's connected to the front center console, which makes it look nice and flow beautifully with the vehicle. It's dual climate control, um, as well as two USBs, two USCs, and then a 115 volt plug-in as well. You have this kind of nice phone holder here, two cup holders, and then even a tablet holder here as well, where you can stick an iPad in there. Great for kids. Uh, most kids nowadays have an iPad or some type of tablet to watch movies on and stuff like that. So that's a great feature that, uh, well, I'm pretty happy with myself. And then just directly below there, guys, you got the nice little storage bins in there. Uh, or not storage bins, but storage containers, I guess, if you want to call it that. Power rear windows. And then Alpine stereo system on the doors, door handles on the roof. Um, and then the sub under the seat, of course. So that's kind of the back seat of the vehicle, guys, and kind of the interior in general. Um, let's swing back to the front with Jill, and she can tell you you can purchase this. Another thing I forgot to point out is they come with little steps now, easy to get in and out of the box. Um, but if you want to make this truck yours, give us a call, 780-942-3629 or email us sales at redwaterdodge.com. Bye.